Alright, uh, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as much as possible. This is my 2000 Air Watch Spider. I'm working on it again. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the new videos. A lot of you guys are new. So, um, my old setup was the stock header. I got two of them, but stock header with the OBX downpipe and then my custom, custom muffler right here with the bumper exit, right? Um, I had to get rid of this setup because um, the header bolts started snapping. As you can see, started snapping and um, it started leaking. As you can see, all the carbon buildup on there and it sounded really bad. It lost a lot of power. Uh, we tried drilling it out, but you know, these studs are so seized. Um, I had multiple people try for me. So my friend Colin hooked it up with the OBX 421 header and downpipe combo and then I made it up to this, uh, this one. So here it is. All right. So one downside to this is that um, I had to get new hardware from Ace Hardware. I just did a bunch, and um, everyone says that these O2 sensors that usually go on the left and right bank right there um, makes the car run really bad. So I'm gonna run two block off bungs, and then I'm gonna just close loop those or unplug them, and uh, I'll get it tuned in the future. But it should run. Uh, perfectly fine, everybody said. I might run space in the future, but that's in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. Um, it should work out perfectly fine. Hopefully, it'll get rid of my exhaust leak because the exhaust leak ran worse than this thing was. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this up. I'm super excited to get this on the car. So as you can see, got the header off here. It's gonna be pretty easy. It's five bolts on there. Go ahead and make this up first. Alright guys, so getting the header in between uh, here was impossible, so luckily I have a bumper cut, so I just kind of snuck it underneath through the subframe and it shoots out right there. You guys can see the header. I just farted. You guys can see the header through the back, that's awesome. Um, what I'm going to do now is, I have this little donut gasket. I also got new hardware for those studs because, you know, you don't want those to strip. It used to be 12s, now it's 13s. Um, and then this donut gasket right here sits right on there, flush. Sits right on here, makes a good seal. And then that donut shape kind of sits in that, you know, rounded area on the back of the downpipe. Without that, it's not going to make a good seal. It's just a different design, it makes it so it can actually bend and all that stuff. Let me go ahead and clamp it down. Hopefully it'll fit up. Guys, so I'm filling up. It's two bucks. Like basically, two right now, so three bucks. Gas prices are like super, super low right now, but this thing is a lot, a lot faster on the top end. Torque is so much better too. Um, torque is like not super noticeable. It's, it didn't lose any, thankfully, especially without the exhaust. It was really good, but with the um, with this new equal length. 4G1 setup is uh, not the uh, unequal length that the stock, it's a lot, lot faster on the top end. So, LBX PB, super, super loud, but a lot better on the top end. So, I'm happy about that for sure. Seven hours later.
I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Stay safe. Let your passion drive you.